Mark. Kevin is on the line. Hey, Kevin. Hi, Mark. I'm uh, Kevin Keeling. I'm of the Motion Picture Club. And uh, Hi. just wanted to talk to you about this new season of Wayward Pines. Cool. So um, we return to the small town. We know a lot about what happened in the first season, but three years have gone by since the last episode aired. Well, within the show. And now we're following the new protagonist, uh, Theo Yedlin, played by uh, Jason Patrick. So uh, how was it working with him? Jason's been great. I mean, I think uh, he's obviously a talented and accomplished actor. It's first time doing television of any kind. Um, but what has been really refreshing for me is that the level of like, commitment that he brings to the, char to the character and kind of the discipline and, and really wanting to really understand every single move the character makes and why it happens. So you can't really get away with any shortcut and you go through the scripts always before we shoot them together and work on every line and every move just to see that it makes sense because the show uh, has such a sort of, you know, outrageous conceit that it will only succeed and work if the characters are grounded and real. And so we always want to ensure that, that that's happening. All right. Do you think he's uh, following in his uh, father's footsteps by starring in this thriller? Uh, say that again. I'm sorry. Do you think he's uh, following after his uh, father uh, by starring in the thriller? His father, Jason Miller, was in The Exorcist. Yeah, yeah, I think it's definitely... He, he, I know he's mentioned that he's never done uh, this kind of genre before, but he's not approaching it uh, from the genre side. He's approaching it from the character side because that's what he always does. And so... It's about, uh, to him, it's about, not to speak for him, but it, it's about a, a surgeon, and a sort of competent, arrogant, intelligent surgeon in a big city who's been thrust into this bizarre small town where nothing makes sense. And so I think that uh, for him it was exciting. He feels, I think, in some ways that this is a movie. Um, it's a 10-hour movie, and that's the way he's approached it. Um, and so he wants his character to be consistent and detailed and complicated, and he really never wants to play it safe when we, we talk about where the character's going to go or the choices he's going to make. He's not worried about whether the character um, is beloved in a sense. He's worried about it making sense and being truthful. Mm -hmm. So I, I've seen a... I've seen the first two episodes of the new season, and I saw a lot of returning faces. Hope Davis, Terrence Howard, um, Charlie Tahan, Carla Gugino, Tom Stevens. Uh, but I've also seen a, a lot of new people, like uh, Casey Rawl. She was, uh, she was in Hannibal. So how was it mixing her in and all the other new faces into the, the town of Wayward Pines? Yeah, I love Casey. I watched all of Hannibal, so it was be very exciting to get her for this. And I even went to her at one point and said, like, what are the nods to Hannibal that we can throw in secretly that, uh, that will make people happy who are following you to this show? So she sent me this whole long list of things that I could throw in in different episodes that people would recognize. Because she remembered it, of course, better uh, than I did. But because of her character, Abigail. So... But it was funny also because, I mean, she's first of all completely professional and completely delightful. She's from up here. Her, her, her dad's a TV director. Um, but when we did the first episode, I don't know if you noticed, like, it's very funny because we have all this wardrobe for her, obviously, for the season. And then we do the first episode and she goes up and she's wearing this really high turtleneck. And so I figured that there would be people out there who would think that, you know, do we do that to cover up the dark, the star, <laughs> 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 and so, and, and it's funny, like, I hope people ask those kind of questions on the show, because it's been important for me to sprinkle in, in the second season, not only a lot of nods to the first season, just in small things, but definitely some influences for me, and things that, uh, you know, are little references that I like, but and Casey, she was definitely on board. She loved that idea, and we got a couple more of those kind of things coming down to Great. So it sounds like this season's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I hope so. 
I mean, I think the issue is always with this, like, you do a first season on a show that's limited, you come back for a second season, and then people start to get skeptical that, like, you know, it just it did well and all that, but, I mean, when, a couple of things. One is, like, they talked to the boys who wrote the book, and, and they chomped oh. on it, and they had some ideas about more places to go with the story, and then when I watched the first season, I thought, like, they really only scratched the surface of what they could do here. I mean, I think that there's, first of all, you've got a bunch of people still free, sleeping in pods in the mountains, so you can wake up whoever you want. And also, I felt like we had spent so much of the time in a good way in the first season really unraveling the main mystery, and once that's done, the key thing is you don't want to play that again, really, for a whole season, because then you're kind of insulting the intelligence of the people who are the reason you have a second season in the first place because they were fans of the show. But also, it's just there's there's so many more people stories to explore. And then also, I think we, they really, in the first season, we saw the Abbey was just kind of these snarling, drooling monsters. But there's obviously, I think, a lot more to learn about them and their world because they are technically us, some version of us. So that's something else that I thought would be to sort of dig into in the second season. All right. Um, that's pretty much all I have to, to ask you. So, uh, the new season premieres on the 25th of May, right? Yep. All right. Thanks a lot for your time, man. Thank you. Okay. Have a good weekend. You too. Bye-bye.